I have attracted a swarm of bees. I gotta confess to being a little freaked out. Deception Valley Campsite number three. It was a very quiet night, but the birds have started to chirp quite a bit now that the sun is starting to come. It's still a bit dark outside, I'm not allowed to drive in the dark. So I've just got up and made myself some coffee and waiting to, to get going. I'm quite excited to uh, head out back to Sunday Pan where I was yesterday afternoon um, in the morning light hopefully catch some good pictures for you You'd have all seen that little jackal in camp that I said good morning to. But what you didn't see behind the scenes was that I was busy brushing my teeth and I was hunched over spitting out. And something said to me, look behind you. And then right behind me, I would say about four to five meters away, there was this little curious jackal wondering what I was doing. So a little while back I saw a whole bunch of flattened grass areas and my spidey senses were up in the hopes that it might be a lion. But I'm driving through this bush and if they were hiding here, my goodness, we would not see them. It's so fully overgrown here. Yeah. Unless they were sitting right next to the road, I wouldn't know they were here. This guy is trying to get something out. What are you eating, Mr. Warthog?
say this has been an absolutely special time at uh, Sunday watering hole. All those animals arrived just as I got you. Kudu, Hemsbok, uh, Buffalo, we've had the male and the female kudus, even the giraffe. Birds are amazing. Oh, it's just so beautiful. A little coffee soaked granola cereal while I sit and watch the springbok. After Sunday pan I decided to head to leopard pan but then when I got to the eternal I saw a uh, passage valley so I figured why not uh, take a little drive down there there was a water hole shown I've gone down the road about a half an hour and I came across some very friendly Capetonians 
who uh, informed me that they had been driving down Passage for an uh, hour and a half and all they had seen were four giraffe. Now I know that's not how it works um, but I've just decided I'm going to go back and complete Leopard Pan uh, route as on the sightings board there was not much in uh, passage except for cheetah and nothing at Tau which I was going to do a little loop around but I'm gonna head back to Leopard and go back to camp after that some uh, lunch here on leopard pan I think it is yeah leopard pan and um, when we were here this morning early there were a whole host of animals cruising across the plains here yeah? they're all somewhere over there now resting in the shade as it's hitting almost midday. My tuna from last night is going to be good. Mm. So, middle of the day, this is what you do when all the animals are hiding. Make yourself your supper or your midday meal. Some nice steaks on a small little fire while I watch the bees or listen to the bees over there. Any amount of water, even my sweat, is attracting these bees. It's pretty hectic, especially as I'm highly allergic. You hear that? They are just buzzing around the water. I've had to cover it up just to protect it. So let's test theory. Theory is that smoke chases away bees. Let's see if that works. If I leave this here, this ambering, will it chase the bees away? does not appear to be doing much to the bees. I have attracted a swarm of bees. It's insane. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> it's just like so many, I've had to hide in the troopy. They just keep coming. I gotta confess to being a little freaked out by these bees. I think they have uh, summoned the entire hive to say that there's water here. And um, oh, there must be thousands around the tree. The attack of the killer bees. Let's hope not. Highly allergic, highly allergic for me. I think the best I'm going to be able to do is to try and drive forward under the trees and get away from them first. So status update, the bees ain't giving up. I was going to have a nap, but 
it's quite uh, scary having a nap with a uh, thousand bees buzzing around you uh, especially when you're like me highly allergic carry uh, adrenaline vials with me because if I get stung I can die and at the moment to go out there is suicide in my opinion so uh, not to make matters worse I'm sweating bullets in here got the windows open I mean the vents open but um, it's three in the afternoon in the CKGR which is warm uh, so I am parked between some trees because uh, I wanted to get some solar on the on the roof while I was parked so I'm gonna have to take my chances with pulling out underneath the trees and hope that I don't damage the roof conversion because the only way I can see myself getting away from these um, bees is to pull the car down the road and away from them. I think next time I'm just going to put a bowl of water somewhere else. So while I chill inside the uh, Hercules conversion inside the trippy, um, I did have like a 15 minute nap in the end and uh, thought I'd see what happens. Uh, the bees seem to be leaving or seem to have left. There's a a handful of, of stragglers that have remained and I guess much like uh, government workers they all get to knock off at three four o'clock so that's that's good news um, so I'm gonna give it a go um, if this is the end of the blog then you clearly haven't seen it and <laughs> I did have some problems <laughs> um, yeah, so interesting thing I didn't tell you. When I came in the gate yesterday, and I've had this a lot. Are you doing it alone? All alone? Are you going solo? Are you going, wow. Um, so when I came in the gate, the rangers, the two rangers that were checking me in, they said, is it just you? Are you alone? So I'm like, yeah, it's just me. So they're like, oh, okay. Will you be okay? So I said, yeah. Do you have a satellite phone? I said, yeah, uh, okay. So then they gave me their numbers in case something happens, which is quite nice. Um, and then I come out of there and there's a tour operator who does um, guided tours into the CKGR, the north section. Uh, and then he sees me as well and he says to me, you're doing it alone? Really? No one with you? So I said, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> So it seems like a lot of people are saying that doing it on your own is risque. Um, I tend to find that I bump into people all the time. Uh, like last night I had those people that accidentally landed on my campsite, which was fine. Um, they apologized. We just cared and had a nice fire together, shared some wine. I like that sort of thing. Um, this is really a big test for me, doing solo trip. Um, CKGR I've never done, so... There are no memories, but um, I'm waiting for the loneliness to kick in. I think the midday is the loneliness. In the evening, you're very busy getting yourself going, uh, making sure the fire's done, that you're packed up and that you're safe for the night. Uh, in the morning, same thing, make sure you're safe, but at the same time, getting your coffee, getting going, getting out there, checking out the game drive, um, that's that's exciting. But when it comes mid-morning, mid-end morning, and then to the early afternoon like we've had now, um, there's not a hell of a lot to do. And you're just sort of waiting for that afternoon drive, which is what I'm doing now. Um, we're going to go out to Deception Pan now. Um, so I've actually set up my fire already to be lit when I get back. So I don't have to fumble around in the, hopefully not in the dark, but I don't have to fumble around working out how to do that. Uh, don't hear any bees. I've been talking and they seem to have died completely. Here we are cruising around Deception Pan. I've got to confess, not a hell of a lot out in this evening to actually see. A Korhan or two, an Oryx, but that's really it. Uh, the morning drive was so much better. Sunday Pan, watering hole was amazing. 
other than that, this is pretty dead up. I was hoping to see Cheetah, but uh, hopefully in the morning we'll see a bit better. So this is Deception Pan. Can't hear a thing, with the exception of one or two birds. And me right now. wondering this is in fact the main road from Deception down to Piper down to Cloudy. This isn't a little side road that I'm doing here. Those three little bat eared foxes make my afternoon drive worth it. They are one of my favorite little animals. everything. I'm gonna to have to drive back. Okay, here's the bag. But no bride grid. I'm sure we'll just have to go back a little. 